What is going on everyone, it's Neary and today for you in episode of Mob Friday, this time on the map lockdown, playing some hardcore domination with the PM9, the silent PM9. Now, this is during double weapon XP, Now I really wanted to master the PM9 while it was double weapon XP, because I hate this gun, I mean, it's alright, it's actually really, really, really manageable, now, after the recent update that allowed it to have less recoil, but still, it's still not a top tier weapon, so I was running around hardcore using it, end up running out of ammo, picking up another gun, and uh, getting my support mob that way. So when I play hardcore, let's break this down for you guys, when I play hardcore, I typically run UAV and ballistic Best. Having your radar up in the air in hardcore is ridiculously, ridiculously, ridiculously beneficial to both you and your team. It gives it gives you such an advantage over the other team simply just having a mini map. If you guys don't know in hardcore, you don't have a mini map unless you have a UAV or an advanced UAV or something like that up. So it's actually very, very beneficial if you were to go ahead and do that. Here's the gun I pick up. Of all guns, I define an ACR, which uh, which I don't really worry about it because nothing's overpowered in hardcore because everything's overpowered in hardcore, so it works out. I mean, this thing could be a CM901. It would perform just the same it just so happened to be the guy I picked up but having that advantage having the UAV advantage for your team is is really what gets it is really what does it for you and throughout this gameplay I'm using hard line so you're seeing I'm gonna be getting ballistic vests to four kills and UAVs at three kills that way I'm gonna put up as many UAVs as I can get as many ballistic vests as I can for you know those of you who don't know those of you who haven't really tried out hardcore those of you who haven't really played hardcore you may not know, ballistic vests are ridiculously, ridiculously beneficial when you're playing hardcore. So let's break this down. So let's say there's a sniper on the other team. You have your ballistic vest. No matter what, unless you're unless like they're shooting through some sort of surface, you know, a wall or you know some sort of sheet metal or wood or anything like that, a sniper is always, always, always going to be a one-hit kill in hardcore. That doesn't mean it doesn't matter if you're using the RSAS, the Dragon, or you can using an MSR or a Bear 50 cal. You will never not get a one-shot kill if it's a clean shot. Even hitting him in the toe, as long as you're not shooting something, you will get a one-shot kill in hardcore mode. If you're using a ballistic vest, they can shoot you dead in the heart if you're using a ballistic vest in hardcore with a Barrett 50 cal and you, ladies and gentlemen, will not go down. That's the power of the ballistic vest. Uh, but, and also, one thing, one little known tidbit about the ballistic vest is in hardcore, health doesn't regen. So let's say you jump off a building, you're not using Dead Silence Pro and you get hurt because of it. Uh, that doesn't come back. That, you know, that Kool-Aid effect, that red splash on your screen, that stays there throughout the remainder of your life. If you grab a ballistic vest, that regens your health Plus gives you the extra benefit of the ballistic vest. That's probably these are the two probably best kill streaks used in hardcore. Uh, when I play with subscribers, I don't even ask them to put on you know UAV and ballistic vest. They just realize it after one game. After one game, they'll play and they'll realize just from watching or just from the constant UAV from like whatever rescue members playing, typically Cipher or uh, maybe Blue Bob. You know we will be using UAV and ballistic vest the whole game, and without even saying it, they will re they will pick up on. It. They'll be like, "Wow, UAV and ballistic vest are so beneficial." Having like double the health and having a recon up in the air is so beneficial. So they just kind of go with it. And that's what that's what our lobbies turn into. At some at some points, there's like five, four, five ballistic vests on the ground at once. Uh, that's just how we play hardcore. Now and again, we'll switch out for assault streaks, but we always at least put UAV in that. Like me personally, typically um, I've only used assault a handful of times in hardcore, but now and again I will go up and I will use you know. UAV predator missile and attack helicopter, something of that, something along that line, just amazingly beneficial in hardcore. But I feel as though I've honestly given like too much of an opening here on this hardcore. So what I'm doing throughout this gameplay is just playing it smart, using cover hardcore. Like I've I've talked about in a couple videos about whether or not you know which which takes more skill, hardcore versus core, things like that. And in all seriousness, I think uh, hardcore takes a little bit more skill. Uh, just because of the sole fact that uh, every gun's overpowered, uh, the fact you have little health, I mean, it really rewards a person who knows the map better, who knows the spawns better, who knows how to position themselves better, you know, things like that, and then that will definitely benefit, you know, it seems to benefit the better player, in my opinion, that's just my thought, but although I'm still I'm still a core player, I still play core the majority of the time, but Hardcore Domination is a very fun, very awesome game mode to play, and I highly suggest you all play, but we're actually wrapping up the gameplay here pretty shortly, we're actually getting really close towards the mob right now, uh, I knew I was on a high streak. I didn't wasn't sure exactly how much. I had a couple deaths previous to this streak. I didn't know, you know, exactly how many kills I needed. And this is a support mode, mind you. A support mode, you guys don't know, is using the support package rather than specialist, or let's say an assault mode, is using the assault package rather than specialist, which means I'm gonna have to get 25 kills, and that, or actually, yeah, it's gonna be 25 kills. But I'm using hardline, which makes it only 24. But I still did it with support streaks. I didn't have any benefits of specialist. I didn't have, you know, I didn't have all the perks and all the proficiencies or nothing like that. I had, I believe. 
Oh, what were my perks? I honestly think I might have been using um, Slave Hand, Hardline, and Dead Silence. That might have been honestly my perk setup. I'm not sure. I might have had Scavenger on. I don't know. But as part of Moab Friday, I'm going to, you know, typically we do this. But we'll fast forward right to the end. I only show the particular life in which I got the Moab. Then I'll show the end of the game. Hit fire that guy with PM9. Like I said, trying to level up that PM9 the best I can. And um, the gameplay's going to be wrapping up. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Uh, this one of this week's episode of Moab Friday. There might be another episode up later tonight. But uh, if you guys let me know. Hardcore, fun or not, man? You guys really, you guys, you guys comment, but you guys never know. Do you, you guys never let me know? Do you guys actually like hardcore? Do you not like hardcore? Do you like hardcore videos on my channel? Because now and again, I like to post them up right there. We see Cypher pick up a final kill with CM901. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this week's episode of Mob Friday. Let me know in the comments section below. Is hardcore fun? Do you like it? Remember to rate the video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.